Welcome everybody back to Hasbro's Hide. We're working on the Anneals 2 with a counter mod I did a video on previously. And we're going to set it up now using Tempelac uh, fluid to indicate the degree of temperature so we get the annealing just right. So I've painted a few uh, of the cases already uh, and we're going to run these through in just a second. All right, we've won a couple cases through already. You can see the progression perhaps here on the bench. We'll look at those closer in a minute. But we're going to run another one through. If you notice, I've got the Tempelac on the side and in the case neck. And so we'll turn, watch it for it to turn clear. When it's done, it actually will look black. But try to get it about to this line you see here already on this annealed case. Uh, so we'll try that and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Just watch. About there. But here you can see a close up of the cases with the Tempelac on them. This is where we started, and I kept adjusting the speed up a little bit higher, leaving the flame where it was hitting, right about the neck and the shoulder junction there. But just moving the speed up a little bit. So I went from about 54% on this controller to about 64%, and we moved from here roughly up to here. Now this is the 650 degree uh, Tempelac fluid. Uh, that was recommended to seem like most across different uh, sites I looked at. Uh, there's a 750, some people are using that, but I think 650 if we hit roughly this area is very similar to the Lake City brass that I've purchased in the past where you can see it very clearly. And then if you really were after 750, well you can imagine it'll just be slightly higher but still below the shoulder. So we should be good I believe. Uh, if I if I am incorrect, please comment in the uh, sections down below and let me know. And I'll set this up now to run uh, a couple hundred brass. All right, let's fire this back up now. We got the brass loaded. I have no idea how many cases are there, but that's what our counter is going to do for us. So let's reset it, and we'll start it here and get our. Uh, case going. If you notice I've put a little bit of wood on the bottom of the anneals pan. If you don't it doesn't really sit up tight against the case because the case face is angled to hold the brass back. Um, so something underneath there. I just, I, I'm an airplane hobbyist as well, model aircraft and full size, but model aircraft balls, uh, you know, you can use anything you want. Just maybe a quarter of an inch or so of material underneath there and it sets uh, quite nice under there. We'll move it out of the way and we'll start up our machine. Right now, uh, some of you ask, uh, before we get going on, how is this set up? And so, as we we'll let that warm up for just a second, if you look here, it's just a piece of Velcro. And the wires, they're only, it's a two-wire system, and there's only one place to put it on the back. It's labeled. This is where I mentioned the reset switch. Uh, if you wanted a manual, like a micro switch or something, you could put that on there. But there's no need for that. And so that's how you wire that in. It's very simple. It runs on one uh, AAA or AA battery um, and just so I just velcro it right there and push the wires back out of the way. So let's get going. Set that at zero. Right there. So that'll be our first case. You'll see a line on the wheel perhaps there. I marked where the magnet is so you can keep track when you set your zero counter. all of this brass uh, is uh, two or three times fired military 556 brass um, that I bought in, bought in bulk and so it's a good place to start to test everything with before you go to your uh, very expensive brass uh, just just to separate that kind of thing out I also use uh, like others have suggested I'll keep some of these for setup 
Uh, so some cases I can reuse, put temple act on, things like that, and uh, just keep them separate because they will have been over annealed. And so you can you can also put them in the flame and check to see if you see the orange flame chart appear. Make sure that does not happen. And you'll see here that is not the case. Say no time flat, we're at 30 cases already done.
Just one point to note, as you fill up this bin, don't be tempted to reach in and grab them. They stay hot for quite a long time, especially down in this bin. So you can spread them out. I'll dump them out in a minute um, in order to keep going to finish the entire amount. Dump these very quick. There should be plenty of room to fit. As you can see, we're up to 117 brass and, and going, uh, brass cases and going. So remember, if you haven't seen the first video, you can turn back and watch that, or I'll also put the link. Uh, this is an inexpensive, very simple and easy to use counter um, with a magnetic, a magnet and a magnetic proximity switch, which you can get from Amazon. And I'll put the link down in the video below. It's, uh, I think I said 15, it's $13. Uh, shipped with Amazon Prime to your door. So very simple. You can add it to any of these uh, annealers. You could add it to other brands of annealers. It's just a very simple thing to do. The only thing you want to do is, is as I mentioned before, is make sure you keep the proximity switch out of the uh, uh, heat from the torque, both directionally. Um, most of it will rise up, but also if you can keep it behind the wheel, that'll shield it from a lot of the radiant heat that you get from that torch. And so uh, you do that, and it's actually very cool. It's not hot at all, and uh, continues to function as designed. So to show you this roughly for how long each of uh, these 223 or 556 brass are taking, you can count them with your watch or watch the video timer, but I'll start one just to give you an idea. So right at four seconds. I varied it between four and four and a half, and it seems like four with the uh, Temple Act solution anyway seemed to be pretty close. Let's start it again just to double check it. Oops. We'll reset that and start again.
Yeah, just just at four, just barely over. There goes number one hundred and fifty. Coming up on our last one, so we should be uh, 162. All right, we'll shut off our gas. Just to mention, that this is uh, my own safety tip. If you think it's wrong, please go ahead and mention it as well. But I always like to shut off the bottle first, and that way we'll burn out what is mainly in the in the hose, and uh, should be safer to keep that propane from staying in the hose uh, that way. Well, again, you can't you can't beat how fast it does it, how well it does it. If you look, well, I shouldn't say can't beat, but it's certainly a very good system. If you look there, you can see how well this brass is annealed. Uh, the distance is about right. Color looks particularly good, um, and so it's just it's just so simple and easy to use um, compared to especially what I was doing. I was doing salt bath annealing, and that works perfectly fine. Uh, it's got its own set of hazards. So does this, um, but for the speed. You can't you can't beat this, especially if a lot of a lot of brass to do. So, um, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.